Okay, these are just the answers to a couple of homework questions that have been put up um, to help you. Name, give the name of the compound that contains elements hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, if you look by here, you can see hydrogen and oxygen, so it's water. Give the names of the elements present in hydrochloric acid. So here's hydrochloric acid, capital letter H, so hydrogen, capital letter C with a little L. Chlorine, use your periodic table to help you. Use your periodic table. Okay. Um, give the name of the compound that contains three different elements. So it's this one because you've got hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen, so sulfuric acid. Use the table formula of common ions on the inside of the back cover of this examination paper to give the formula of aluminium chloride. So ammonia, sorry, ammonia chloride is positive, chlorine is negative, so they're just going to be the same because they've got no charge. And then sodium and oxide, so if you were to do, put them at the top, remove the charges, top, swap, and then drop, and a Oh, okay, remember, you don't need to include the one. So that's the first little question. Second question, then, in your homework booklet. Um, James and Delista are asked to carry out an experiment to find the formula of an oxide of copper. In the experiment, a crucible containing copper was weighed before heating and then after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and 15. Okay. In their calculation, they did not use the mass recorded after 5 minutes. Give a reason why they ignored their value. Um, the reaction wasn't really occurring. It hadn't finished yet. Okay, so that's why we ignore the value, because you've got the same two values there. Simplest formula, that's the same as empirical formula. Um, so work out their masses. Okay, this was the complicated bit, trying to work out their masses. So to work out the copper, I did these two numbers minus each other. So you should have got 12.7. I then took away the mass of the crucible, which was 25. Then took away the mass of the copper, which was 27. And you ended up with 3.2, which is my mass of oxygen. I then divided them by their mass numbers. And then I divided by the smallest number. Okay, and you ended up with CUO. Nice, easy one. Final question in this little um, homework booklet. The reaction of chlorine and iron can be demonstrated using the following apparatus. Chlorine gas, state why the reaction should be carried out in a fume cupboard. Chlorine gas is toxic. Okay. Um, complete the reaction above is iron chloride. Iron 3 chloride complete the balanced equation for this reaction. So chlorine always exists in a pair, it's diatomic. Iron exists naturally on its own. Okay, and then we had to balance it out. Calculate the percentage by mass of chlorine in iron 3 chloride. Okay, so work out the overall MR, which is 1625. So that's the overall MR. So you've got one iron, three chlorines. They're their mass numbers. That's the total there. And then you do the total mass of iron over the total mass and it gave you 66%.